god, just scared my dog then. <laughs> well, a minute, oh, sorry, Gooch. How well, I meant to make you guys jump. I literally just scared my dog. Sorry, sorry, Gooch. Sorry, people. I know I'm very scary. Just looking at my face. Anyway, thanks for coming and watching this video. Um, today it's going to be a Poundland haul. Is it Poundland? Is it Pound World? It's one of them because one got shut down, which I don't know how Poundland or Poundwell can get shut down when everything's a pound and everyone's buying stuff. Because obviously everyone's buying stuff when it's a pound shop. Anyway. So, got a bag full of goodies. And I'd like to say that they're all a pound. Because obviously it's pound. We'll go with quidder. Here in Yorkshire, I call it quidder. So it's quidder. So obviously if you're going quidder, you think it's all a quid. No, it's not. They're sneaking you, they're tricking you. It's not always a pound. Anyway, so the things that were a pound are the things that I bought. I'll show you and I'll tell you. So first, very randomly, I just bought two of these little blankets just because. I just thought they were cute with the grey chevron. Oh my God, that would be like a good background, wouldn't it? Might make a, a thing out of this. Um, but I got two of them mainly just because I love the colour. Like my house is grey, so it'll definitely go in my house. Um, but I thought for like animals' beds, you know, like as a, a blanket for my, my Gucci's bed and my cat's bed. But anyway, basically they're baby blankets, but for a pound, they're whatever you want them to be on. Whatever you want them to be. Okay? Okay. Secondly, so I got like a lot of, um, like stocking filler kind of stuff. Because, you know, just like stuff that you don't really know to get a 13 year old boy because he's got everything. And they don't need anything. And the only thing he asks for is like £500 PlayStation games. You feel me? You feel me? So I've got this. <laughs> St stress off. Stress off. So it's a squeeze banana. And it says, when you get mad, squeeze me. Stress banana. That's, I could do one of these. I didn't just buy myself one. They were quid. This was a quid. So that's a stress banana. I'm sorry, Gucci. I'm sorry, baby. And then some tele, te, tele, tele safe. Some tele safe. Actually, this goes with. So I bought this actual tele tape, obviously for Christmas presents and wrapping up. But it's got like, you know, like when you're working like Asda or somewhere and you go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Do you know like one of them things? Look, like, let's show you. So I feel like I'm working Asda Hunt. That's the price. Oh, God, that's sharp. I actually just nearly cut myself on that thing. So, anyway, these are refills for this. It's just... Oh, is it right size? Oh, I don't know if it'll fit. I will be gutted if they don't fit. That's the only reason why I bought them. Anyway, we'll see. But I just thought these are handy for when you're doing your taping. I hate, absolutely hate wrapping up. I don't know about you a lot, but it is not about me that life. I'm telling you now. I do not like that. Then, a little stocking filler for my daughter. Just a stamping kit. It says, well done me. In fact, everyone should have one of these. Well done you. None of us tell each other that enough, and we need to. Well done you. Well done to every one of you watching this, because you've all done something amazing. Oh, computer says no, that's me. <gasps> it says you knob. My daughter's seven. I can't give her this. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Quidder, what are you doing? This is not child friendly. You knob. <gasps> I'm going to have to have that now, but, like, why would I even use a stamper? Can't handle that. Can't even believe that. Then a few little stocking fillers. You see, this one's a bit of bants, but it's a bit of bants in a non-mean way. It says, it's a lolly, and it's got a duck, and it says, Merry Duck in Christmas. That were quid, obviously. But that's not too bad because, you know, that's a bit of bants, a bit of harmless bants. But that actually says you knob. Absolutely gobsmacked. Then I've got my kids. Oh, no! Oh, I've got one of my kids, this lolly. Which I've... 
Um, but then look at this one, it's smashed. Oh. I mean, what do you want for a quid, I guess? But I want a lolly what's not smashed. That's what I want, hon. Anyway. I'm sure I've got psychotic issues. Then there's this cute um, Christmas tree barbell. God, it's literally like Christmas a week tomorrow and I'm just getting on Christmas so far that I've just barbed because I'm waiting to show you guys first. That is dedication, huns. Dedication. So it's quite heavy as well and this is what I liked about this one because like my tree at top, it's like everything's kind of at front so it kind of goes... So I thought if I get this one it'll go... Pull it back a bit, do you know what I mean? It's a photo frame but... Don't know what I'm going to get put in there. Oh, I could get a picture of my kids with Santa. Not that my 13-year-old has a photo with Santa. It's like, what are you want about, Mum? But my daughter does, even though she's a bit like, what are you want about, Mum? But she's still got one because we went yesterday. So I could put that in there. That's a nice little reminder. I won't throw that because apparently everything breaks from Poundland. Um, bit of boring stuff. Two bottles of Diet Pepsi, a pen. A pen for two bottles. Who oh, don't get that when you go in the Poundlands? Oh, more decorations that I forgot about. How cute is them? Pound. That is actually really cute though. And it don't look a pound either. That looks really nice. I'll just place that one down so gently. So don't break that one. Oh, more decorations, man. Oh, hey, look. Hey, look. Santa's coming. Hey, look. Is he a lot? Reindeers are coming. Does anyone have that? Where reindeers come on your road to see all the kids at Christmas. That's over that. I used to remember that. And I'm like... Santa's here! But I don't know if they do that anymore. But anyway. So I don't even know what these are, but they're just nice jingler things. Like, where would you even put these? I'm not sure, hon. But for a quid, obviously quid each. I mean, that's still a bag. So still aren't it bags, yeah. So. But reindeer's here! Yeah, that don't probably happen anymore. Um. And then I just thought this was such a cute little touch, uh, like like vintage retro kind of style, just to put down somewhere. I thought about having like um like a little kind of Christmas tree, just putting in some like little Christmas bits. I'll show you if I do that. But I just thought it's a nice little touch, just purposely for Christmas. I don't know if it is for Christmas, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Um, what for that one? This is a gift for someone, just like a stocking filler, so I'm not going to say who, even though they're probably going to guess when they see it. Yep. So it says, let your let your dreams set sail, and it's like the shells all in it that move. And I thought that was lovely, that didn't even look like a quid. I'm not being funny, that don't look like a quid, does it? Not like, it's not like this, huns, is it? Smashed up lolly, no taking that back I want my refund um I don't know why I got these actually but some baby wash cloths I'm guessing it was a similar reason why I got the dog beddings from dog beddings they're actually just normal blankets I probably just got them to match my blankets didn't I but I don't know what cloths are gonna do I mean they might go in in my bathroom I don't know what to do get a bit excited when I go in pound shop I'm like Woo! But then you get stung because then stuff's like two pound, four pound, five pound. I'm like, what? It's a pound shop. Anyway, this is another gift. Oh, not that one. This light up glitter frame. Sorry guys, my memory card went there. Like I've got about 15 cards full of different vlogmases to put up. So I had to keep swapping and stuff. But anyway, as I was saying, next thing is this light up glitter frame. Which is so cute. I'm obviously going to have to get some batches for this bad boy. But it's just so cute. Um, and I think that was actually a pound. But I won't say who it's for. But it'll go perfect in the bedroom. But um, I won't say who that's for. And then, just because I'm a proper OG. A massive fan of black eyed peas. Well, let me just tell you. The quid. Why have they just got like pound... CDs in and they've got like DVDs in like Pretty Woman and all top quality DVDs and CDs for quid. Don't even know how that works out but I don't even know if they're allowed to sell it. Well they should be allowed to sell it because it's quidder but anyway pounds so I just got myself that hot car you feel me? 
And then, oh, what's this? Oh, I forgot about this. It's such a good thing, like, if you go shopping, like, last week and then plan on doing it the whole week after, you find all, like, loads of new stuff and you're like, oh, it's like Christmas. So I knew I got this mirror. Whoa, that's weird. How do I show you? That's big elf there, and that's you guys. Anyway, and it's on, like, that stand. But I just thought that were cute. That was just, that was still a pound. I feel stupid saying a pound, but not everything's a pound in Poundland. That's why I'm saying it. So that was a pound. Um, I'm just going to put that in the bathroom just because I do have a mirror, but it's higher up. And when um, kids are cleaning the tea for Lydia, who's seven, she can't see the higher up one. And she's like, eh, eh, trying to clean the tea but she can't see it. So now she can. Um, and then, oh, this is so exciting. And then, look at this. What do you do? How do you bend that bit up? Don't huh? I'm talking to the hands. So it's like a calendar. Oh, desk calendar that says. And then you like flick. January, March, and then numbers. Like this actually, in all honesty, I'm not even joking now, this doesn't look a pound. I wouldn't look I wouldn't go to like someone's office. <laughs> I don't go to anyone's office, but I wouldn't and just go God that one from quid shop. I just this honestly is just good. Eh, uh, that one from quid shop. No, I wouldn't have thought oh look that's from quid shop. Yeah, that's right. But I just won't um, like that is really good. I do love that, it's one of my favourite pieces. So I'd go and get yourself one of them, baby girl. Oh, look. Another frame as well. Forgot, forgot about this one, too. But I do like that. It's got a bit of everything in it. It's got the rose gold. And it's got the blush pink, which is my dining room. And then it's got the grey effect. That'll go kind of anywhere in my house, actually. And that will pound. And then two of my... Oh, three of my favourite things. Oh, wow. I don't know why I got that one, either. Books! Station me books! I do honestly love these. Look at this one. My dog's actually staring at me thinking, who are you even talking to, Horn? Talking to Daddy Elf over there, obviously. So, it's like a spotty one. It's just a plain jotter. Jotter notepad or jotter. Anyway, I like it anyway. And that's a quid or whatever. And then the calendar. No, diary. Which is good because it's got like big... Things, although I did get one from, if you did watch from Primark Hall Huns, then you know that I bought one from that the other day. But I'm not even bothered because, who oh, can't have two, do you know what I'm saying? Sorry Huns, my phone went then and I kind of, I had to get it, just, this is my phone in case you don't know what one is. And I had to get it because it said, um, it's a number which I think I needed to answer, which I did need to answer, it's a good job I did. Because it's, so, it's newspaper, because I'm going in the newspaper, your girl's going in Yorkshire Post, her baby hun. Thursday, 27th of December, by the Yorkshire Post, because that's when I'm going in. So, thank you in advance for that. And thank you to Yorkshire Post, because I'll be buying it, let me tell you. So, where were I? Wait, this one? I think it was this one. But basically, what can you say about a diary? It's a diary, and it's got pages in where you write stuff. And that's about, that's about it for a diary, do you know what I'm saying? But then this one's two tiny little cute books, and I'm guessing they're like jotter types as well. Jotter. Um, and they're just kind of handy to have on you, do you know, to take notes. Um, I actually love, like I've previously said, I love all station with pens and stuff like that, but if I go to any workshops or meetings, I don't actually take any of it. So that is my New Year's resolution for 2019, to take notepads and pens and stuff, the appropriate things that people would do to meetings, that's going to be your gal taking them. Then just some eyelashes because I've had these before the fern is it fern macam I've had them before from Quidder um, and they're actually perfect they're really good just for like a night out I wouldn't suggest like you every day going to Morrison's in them but do you know like for your night out they're actually really good and they're nice and feathery as well and that's a quid um, and then the latest squeezing trends with all these kids Obsessed when my seven year old is, so look at this little stocking filler. It's a little squeezy elf, because who don't want a squeezy elf? So, your girl's got a baby girl squeezy 
healthy gal. Then last but not least, obviously I've saved this for last because it's the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your ears picked up then, Gooch, didn't it? Dog after chocolate, but we all know we can't give dogs chocolate because it's poisonous. Oh, Maltese are baby reindeers. Baby, mini, mini baby reindeers. Come on, who oh, don't have these? Do you know what? I've been wanting chocolate all week. I even want gonna like open my advent calendar like until like you know Christmas Day just to get some chocolate, but I stopped it and I didn't. But I've been wanting chocolate bag, and these have been stuck in this quidder bag waiting for this haul. Are you proud of me? So I would demolish this bag in like 15 seconds, but I saved it for this haul. Anyway, that's about it for this vlogmas. So. What vlogmas will this be? Um, four or five? I don't know, but it's my first vlogmas and I hope I'm doing all right. And I, I just want to tell you all how much I really do appreciate you all subscribing and just watching. Like, that is so much to me. It just something so little can make someone so happy and everyone needs to realise that. It doesn't take much to support each other. So I just want to say thank you again to everyone. But thank you for watching, which is almost like what I've just said, but double thank you and i'll be with you soon with the next vlogmas which i do my bloggers party i go to the farm and i've not filmed messing it yet so who knows what will be on it but thanks for watching bye